In this video series on functional strength, we cover the following topics. And, by the way, you can find the list in the description below. Video 1. What is functional strength? Video 2. The 7 primal movements. Video 3. Relax into stretch and foam rolling. Video 4. Functional strength training tools, kettlebells, Indian clubs and more. Video 5. Body weight training for strength to weight ratio. Video 6. Grip strength and overcoming isometrics. Video 7. HIIT, high intensity interval training. Video 8. Is there any place left for resistance machines? Video 9. CrossFit, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and Video 10, Diet for Functional Strength. Now here is Angus taking us through grip strength and overcoming isometrics. As you incorporate the techniques I talked about in the last video into your training, you should find yourself beginning to gain in strength and mobility. There's another piece of the puzzle that's missing though, and if you don't incorporate it, you'll be limiting your potential progress. And that's grip strength, which you need in order to improve every other lift in the gym and all of your body weight moves. The true kings of functional strength are the old time strongmen of old. These guys would lift insane amounts of weight in all kinds of unusual manners, such as lifting barbells over their head with just one hand. The Anyhow lift was a lift that challenged a man to lift as much weight as he possibly could with any technique he wanted. And the key to the training of these old time strongmen was grip strength. Why? Because they knew it was the key to being able to move weight around more confidently and this is something that you need to learn as well. To train your grip, you need to simply incorporate some grip training into your workouts. You can do this with towel pull-ups, for instance, or by doing pull-ups on a fingerboard. Likewise, you can also use bars that are slightly wider for your other lifts. You won't be able to lift as much, but you'll get a far more impressive full body workout that will increase your true strength. Better yet, you can also try using overcoming isometrics. These are a type of training used by some of the strongest men of the world even today. Bruce Lee used overcoming isometrics and so does Dennis Rogers, pound for pound, the strongest man alive. Dennis is so strong that he appeared on Stan Lee's Superhumans. So what is overcoming isometrics? Well, isometric training is any kind of training that involves no movement at all. This is the opposite of dynamic training or of plyometric training the latter of which involves exploding up out of the movement. Now, there are two kinds of isometric training. One is yielding, which means you simply hold a position that's quite tough but not impossible until you wilt. An example would be plank, where you hold the plank position for about two to three minutes. The other type of isometric training, the one that we're looking at now, is overcoming. Here, you're attempting to lift a weight that's too much for you and then just pushing against it as hard as you can. In fact, it doesn't even have to be a weight. You can even press up against a wall and try and push it down. When you do this, your body recruits as much of your muscle fiber as it can and treats the challenge as though you were trying to lift 100% of your one rep max. As far as your muscles are concerned, they're maxed out and it makes no difference if anything is moving or not. The result is that the brain tries to recruit all of your strength, which doesn't normally happen, and learns that it needs greater control over your muscle fiber. The result is that your mind-muscle connection strengthens and the next time you try this move, you should have developed the ability to move more weight. You can't train with just this type of training because it doesn't involve any range of motion. But as a complement to compound lifts, it can greatly increase your power. What's more, many of the best types of overcoming isometric training do involve grip. An example, trying to bend an iron bar. Don't have an iron bar around? Then how about trying to roll up a frying pan or just crush a stress ball? If you want to use something that feels a little bit more rewarding, then try investing in a power twister. 
These are bars that have a powerful spring in the middle and let you bend them to train your crushing power. They can go all the way up to 100 kilograms, so they can prove an amazing challenge. Well, that's it for this video on functional strength training. Thank you for watching. And check out the equipment links in the description. Also, you can click here for a recent video or a related playlist. And please subscribe to our channel and hit the like symbol below. We really appreciate your support.